Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss environmental sex determination. When sex is determined by environmental factor, external factors, this type of sex determination is called environmental sex determination. We will discuss an interesting example of Crepidula fornicata. And common name of this is slipper limpet. This is an organism which lives in stacks one above another. And it starts its life cycle as a swimming larva. And then this larva, suppose this is larva, this is swimming larva, and this swimming larva on finding any rock, suppose this is rock, then it will settle down there. So here it will settle down. And after settling down here, it will secrete some chemicals there. And it attract other larva. Other larva then came and will attach on its surface. So many larva will come and they will attach on its surface. Then this larva, this first larva that attached on rock will become female. And other that are present on above that larva or above this organism, they will become male. After some time, some upper organisms, so this is suppose these are upper, these upper organisms will change their sex. These organisms will change their sex and they will become female. Initially they were male, then upper become female and then they will attract others. Other will come there and they will settle on the top of them and after settling they will become male. Then after some time upper will change their sex and they will become female. Then other will come there and they will become male. So this type of sexual reversal is called sexual sequential, sorry, sequential hermaphroditism in which one organism can be male or female but one at a time. So here you can see that these first these are male then they become female. These are also first they are male then they become female. So this type of sexual reversal is called sequential hermaphroditism. So how sex determination occur in Crafidula fornicata or sleeper limpet? It depends on position. The first larva that attached on rope that is female and all other that are present on this that are male then upper one become female other than that that will attach or that will present on that top will become male. So on the top you will always find male. So here sexual determination depends upon position, position in stack. So when they are present below, they are female, when they are present above, they are male. Similarly, in turtles, alligators, 
crocodiles sex determination is also environmental in case of turtle during embryonic development when temperature is high it becomes female but when temperature is low then it will develop into male and reverse to this in alligator when temperature is high then it will develop into male and when temperature is low then it will develop into female so here sex determination in turtle alligator and crocodile depends on temperature and in crepidula fornicata sex determination depends upon position in stack